Hi, right, Cyclist1222 here. I want to show you my cook system that I use both for backpacking and bicycle touring. This system alone here I use just for backpacking. I add this stainless steel pot uh, for bicycle touring and, and the reason for that is it's um, a little nicer to cook out of and when you're bicycle touring you've got a little bit more carrying capacity than when, you, when you're just backpacking. But anyways, this is a standalone system right here. This is a stainless, uh, not a stainless, a regular steel enamel coated mug that you can get at Walmart. It's just $2.88. The reason I like that mug, it's very durable. The enamel finish is very durable. It's easy to clean. And when you cook on it, the rim stays cool to your lips and the handle stays cool. I both drink and eat and cook and eat right out of this mug. Keep it simple, keep it small, nothing expensive. Um, I mean, you can have, you can buy one of those fancy titanium kits, coated kits that are, you know, 50, 60, 70 dollars and so on and so forth and they're fine and they're nice, but you don't have to. $2.88 and you got yourself a nice mug. My uh, kit is totally contained in here. This is my stove. Inside is the fuel and the windscreen. Let's talk about the stove. The stove is simply a sink drain stopper that you can get at Walmart, discount stores, dollar stores. Um, cost anywhere from a dollar to two dollars depending on where you get it from. What I did was I simply cut out the bottom part of it. This was the part, the drain part that has all the holes in it and then it had the middle, uh, the center plastic stem. I just cut that out, made a nice surface to set my cup or pot on and then it had holes along the side but I cut them out bigger because it needed more air to breathe so I got my rotary tool and I just made bigger spaces I mean you can be artistic just need to leave enough material so the integrity of your stove stays intact but the reason why I, I like this is because it fits nicely on a chafing can that's my fuel this is a sterno chafing can I got this at Walmart you can get a pair of them at Walmart for free change okay this sterno can the seven ounce will burn for a little bit more than two hours and my stove sits nicely on it the, this chafing cans have a little rim on there so it holds that right in place and that just works out fine and the height of it is a great height for um, for the flame and uh, it cooks well. Um, very simply you're going to put your cup on top of the stove, the windscreen. Uh, the windscreen is just made out of a piece of aluminum from uh, your food containers that you might use, you know, you might go to a party and you see those large food trays with the chafing cans under them. Well, that's what that is. I just cut that out of the food tray. It's a lot stiffer uh, aluminum material and it makes a great light, uh, lightweight windscreen and that's how I made the top. The top is the same material also. Made a nice lightweight uh, lid for my cup. But you're just going to put the windscreen around like that. Okay cook with your top on. The key to this system really, the, the chafing gel does not put out a lot of heat. You're not going to boil a lot of water with this system. I don't use it to boil dirty water to make it uh, drinkable water. You're going to need a lot of chafing cans if you're going to do that. You can boil water with this. I could boil water in this cup, a cup and a half or so. This is an 18 ounce cup by the way. And uh, I could boil it. It'll take close to 10 minutes to do it but it will boil if I needed to boil it but I don't need to boil it I just need to heat the water enough to make my hot drink or to make my hot meal with this system right here after about five minutes on this flame I'm ready to put my uh, food in there or I'm ready to, and cook it or I'm ready to uh, drink my drink it's that quick the key is you got to have one screen around it and you got to have a lid on there that makes it much more efficient what the windscreen does is it keeps the heat going up around your cooking vessel so you use more of, more of your heat to cook with, it doesn't escape and you don't lose it. So 
if you have the windscreen um, and you're not using it, you're going to lose a lot of your heat to the side. So the windscreen and the cover are key, okay, um, to making this an efficient system. The cost of this system, oh, about you know, less than ten bucks. Like I say, the enamel mug, two eighty eight at Walmart. Um, you can also get um, chafing gel at Rose's department stores. They have a brand called Blaze that they sell. Works the same as the Sterno can, same size, seven ounces, burns just as well, just as hot, just as long, and it's a dollar a can. So that's pretty inexpensive. So if you buy a can from Roses, you can make this stove out of the bottom of a tin can or a, a you know a soup can, or whatever. And you could even make your cup out of a can if you wanted. Your only cost would be for the dollar um, chafing gel can. That's pretty inexpensive. Okay. It's very light, very simple, and it makes a great uh, backpacking and bicycle touring camp set. I've added this stainless steel pot, and this just came from a set, I've had it for a long time, this is just a small pot in a set, but I've added this pot, I like to take this with me when I'm bicycle touring, the reason is it, it cooks a little bit quicker and it's a little bit more convenient because it's bigger, so it's better to, to cook your meal in there, um, but it has a larger bottom surface. What's good about that is you're going to have more flame touching the bottom of your cooking container it's going to heat the water up a lot faster you would be amazed with this system right here and with that windscreen on like that this tight windscreen keeps the heat underneath that pot in a matter of three minutes you can have two cups of water in there hot enough to make yourself a nice meal a nice rice meal from rice packs or, or whatever you need to make oatmeal and it heats it up that quick. So that's why I take this steam, stainless steel pot with me on uh, uh, bicycle touring. It's easy to carry, it's light, you've got extra carrying capacity on your bicycle more than you do in your backpack. So I add that to my bicycle touring kit. When I'm just backpacking, I'm just using this. Okay, because when you're backpacking, you don't want to carry too much weight. The lighter, the simpler, the better. So that's a good inexpensive system. Anybody can make it. It's a good way to get started if you don't have a lot of money or you don't want to spend a lot of money um, don't worry you don't have to go out there and buy you know a $50 stove and a $80 titanium set and all these fancy uh, sporks and, and all these other accessories this is all you need this works out great you can put your lighter your matches in there you can put your little uh, scouring pad in there to clean it with it'll fit in there put your lid on there Pack that in your pannier, and you're good to go. Okay? Hope that helps you. Just another idea from Cyclist 1222. Out.